Greets Peeps, it's the Living Fruits on YouTube and it's Thursday and I've just made some muffins which I'm really eager to go and have for my breakfast <laughs> with another chai latte. So I thought I would get the question of the day done and dusted with Singer Fall. She asks, how many locks, how do you maintain them? Were you a model or an actress at one time? How many locks? I don't know. I would guess between 100 and 150. I've never actually sat and counted them. But when I was looking at those questions, I thought, oh, I could get one of my little nieces to count them. How do I maintain my locks? Well, I wash once or twice a week, unless I've retwisted, which I do every six weeks, and then I won't wash it and keep it neat for maybe two, three weeks or as long as I can go. I would never retwist, actually. There are just times when it feels like I just need to wrap that hair and the, the bases feel like they're thinning. I use rose water and water to moisturize and a little bit of coconut oil or some kind of oil once or twice a week. There'll be six years in July, July 29th. I also henna my hair because you know as you can see the way the light is bouncing onto my hair and you know creating these these white streaks. <laughs> early graying like I remember my mum being grey in her 30s and my dad I've never known him without grey hair so it's just in my genes I do get sort of fed up of dyeing it and I do think at some point I'm going to stop dyeing it and I'll have all these white dreadlocks but um, at the moment I just don't like it when they're just little bits some people think that I spend time twisting and doing something to make them look like this I don't do much at all did I used to be a model or <laughs> I did do some modelling a few years ago. I was one of the models in the Duff campaign for Raw Beauty, which was a heap of fun, sort of seeing yourself blown up like you know, life size on billboards and on side of buses and bumping into yourself on the tube in the advertisements that um, you see on the walls there and my family and everything and friends would like ring me up when they would see one. And also we travelled and did assignments in Spain and Greece and um, Germany. That was my foray into modelling and I, I would love for it to have gone on some more because you just you know hang out and smile a bit and they put makeup on you and they pay you lots of money it's bloody brilliant i did act in my friend's play at, um um what was it called she you know thought because of, i was quite outgoing that i could act and she put me in this play it was terrible i mean i didn't care i had a good time strutting about the stage and stuff but it was just really life-changing for me because at the end of the performance and everyone applauded I was like wow I've just presented something creative and people have received it and it was soon after that that I started performing poetry so um, yeah I have acted but I wouldn't pay to see me okay thank you for the question I've Instagram posted my food <laughs> um, okay What's on the menu today? My work menu, I mean. Oh God, I'm just a little bit... You know, I've had the people from the menu next door on the phone and it's like... Oh. <laughs> I don't have a boss. I'm the boss around here. <laughs> and I just had to kind of state that and, and let her know. <sighs> anyway. Anyways, flyers. I'm like chief cook and bottle washer. I do everything around here. But that would be nice to wander around the neighbourhood and post some things through some lurk boxes and have some chats with people. I'll catch you later. Need to time the number of flyers by about a hundred. <laughs> this is a really good learning curve for me. Marketing the reality. It's a beautiful day though. The sun makes everyone look so much more beautiful and you can just feel the happy energy. <laughs> That's my flyering done for the day. Sorry about the noise, they're um, pruning the trees on my street. I went to the thrift store and I got a pair of Levi's. Whenever I see Levi's in the charity shop and they fit me, I just buy them. And they're quite a nice wash as well. They fit kind of loose like mum jeans. It's my everyday skinny jeans. And I found this little sparkly top. I do like sparkly. 
This poem is about 10, 12 years old, and I just thought I was hot stuff at the time, clearly. <laughs> okay, it's called Mini Skirt, aka New Vision, New Voice. The store was lively that Saturday afternoon. When I saw that mini skirt hanging there, I thought, wow, dark blue faded denim with these flower shaped patches and red zigzag stitching. It had a wide waistband, thick belt loops, and a little tiny zip. It was the only one I could see in that style. There were no others like it. What a gem. I held it up to my body on its hanger, turning back and forth in the mirror, stroking the fabric and the softness of the slight frame hem. Checking inside for my size on the label. I didn't even try it on. I just made the purchase there and then, and I was gone. The first time I wore that mini skirt, was at a reggae dance. A simple black lycra vest, wedged heeled mules with a red flower shaped motif at the ankle and a small pouch handbag hanging from my wrist. Man, I worked the outfit to full effect, hips swinging always as we approached the entrance on that sultry summer night. Handing over our tickets, I took careful steps up the well-lit flight of stairs, initially unaware of the attention on my smooth, shiny, cocoa butter legs. <laughs> oh Lord, that is hilarious. I walked into the main hall and the heat hit me. Fade black. This is just too embarrassing. It's like teenage angst poem. Anyway, and I'm going to take a minute to end this video here and say thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and share. Subscribe to the Living Fruits if you're new here and welcome to the fruit family. I will see you next time. So don't forget to keep reaching for those good feeling thoughts.